Howdy peeps and welcome or welcome back to the channel if it's your first time here. Hope you'll hang around a bit. What are we talking about today, Sharp? Well, as you've probably seen by the title up yeah, there somewhere. Today we're going through what happened in the fish room in 2022. And possibly, well, we'll see how we go. Some plans for 2023. But let's get the camera around off my ugly mug. Bad hair day. Let's get some looking at some fishies, shall we? While we waffle. There we are. So back to the usual kind of thing in Sharpie's fish room. Bristle noses galore. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much what's been happening this year. Lots of bristle noses, lots of pink and blue rams on snails. Lots of bacterial blooms due to vast quantities of bristle noses. Uh, also, been doing rather well breeding these little booties, Limia perugiae. Although, the way they're all hanging out at the front right now, their colours aren't exactly showing up, but there we go. Also, in here. You might just be able to spot a few there. We have some Pelvic Acromis subosolatus, which we've been breeding those this year quite successfully. This is the, I say quite successfully, this is the second batch. But we only got them this year, so can't really moan too much. Um, in Big Tank, not a huge amount of change um, overall. Obviously, Spazzy Boy is no longer with us. Uh, he has, uh, I'd say, been replaced. You can't replace Spazzy Boy. But we now have a large shoal of Limia Perugiae in here as well. All stemming from three that I bought earlier in the year. And there's babies everywhere. We do have a few, unfortunately, SKP bristle noses in here. Bert and Ernie, the happy caras, are just doing what they do. The, oh, let's see, there we go, there's some more baby Libyas. Corys, uh, doing Cory type things. Yeah, there's another breeder box full of bristly noses. Those ones are about a week old. Somewhere in here are the other new additions to the tank, the Nanakara Anomala. Well, they're really good at hiding. So yeah, there's father and mother to a few thousand plecos. Um, I hate to think how many plecos I've sold this year, or bred, or sold. Um, <laughs> it's, it's over a thousand that I've sold anyway. Um, and well over a thousand that I've bred. Uh, we're up to 450-ish now that we've uh, removed the eggs and um, yeah, got rid of. So we didn't get too overrun. Uh, Shelleys have been doing great all year. And of late they've decided they're going to have a crash down in the back corner. Uh, which is where they're keeping all the fry. There's about 20 to 30 fry down there now. So they're going well. We come oh, oh, we missed one. What used to be a shrimp tank has been converted into a super red bristle nose tank. Yeah, it kind of happens around here. So that's another spawn of mixed long fin and short fin super red bristlies. And a whole heap of algae and some trumpet snails from somewhere. That's a general recurring theme around here. Trumpet snails and ram's horn snails. There's a trip over a pillow. So here we can see more of the baby pelvic acromis. You know, mum hiding up down the back just behind the filter. Well, behind the filter intake. Uh, this is the new, or yeah, I'll call it the new tank. It's my newest tank. And it's done well. As you can see, the plants are starting to take off now. 
the, the amount of poop has built up su sufficiently in the substrate. No doubt in no small part due to the large amounts of Malaysian trumpets we've got in here. But again, snails aren't bad for a tank. They're good for a tank. And yeah, so as I said, these are the second lot of fr oh, I say fry uh, pelvic acromus subosolatus or posh cribs as I call them. Um, these ones will have to come out fairly shortish because Mr. and Mrs. Crib have been uh, trying to get jiggy with it again. And yes, somewhere in here. Oh, here comes Mr. Crib and Missy Crib. Hello, Cribbleys. As you can see, she's got her breedy colours on. Partially. When she's fully coloured up, she gets super bright. Uh, you won't be able to see the picture because it's pretty dark. But unfortunately, this year we said goodbye to Sparky Doodle. Um, can't really complain. She was 24 or 25 years old. She basically died of old age, bless her. And over here, we have yeah, the Longfin Super... Longfin and the standard super red bristleys. Been doing the breedy breedy happily all year. And we have Missy Pisto and some Kubo Tai Rasbora. And Mr. Pisto. Yo. And a certain gorgeous girl showing off just how much fin she's got. It's, to be honest, quite ludicrous. Um, but yes, yeah, so we're hoping, <coughs> excuse me, hoping to get this gorgeous boy and his gorgeous girly here. There is another female in here somewhere as well um, to get those breeding soon. And we've been experimenting with some red bush tea to give it a bit of tanning, a bit of colour to the water. See if that helps breediness. Excuse the mass water spots on here. So throughout this year, this tank has mostly been producing vast quantities of shrimp and massive trumpet snails. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's a recurring theme. Um, the other inhabitants of the tank do hide up fairly well. As we do have the trio of <coughs> oh dear, excuse me. A trio of clown plecos in here, along with a sole remaining CPD and pygmy cory. But the main inhabitants are just hundreds and hundreds of skittles shrimp. These are the ones that have stayed indoors, they've been indoors all year. But when we come over to this tank, which is covered in algae, where we have the last couple of golden white clouds, that's the ones, and th that ember tetra that just won't die. And this tank has no heater in it, um, mainly because the heater died and I needed a heater elsewhere and I just never got around to putting it back in. But it's been a good few months now and as you can probably just about see if I point the camera in roughly the right direction. There's a shrimp, there's some shrimp on the filter. There's shrimp all over the place and trumpet snails and algae and yeah well I mean that um <laughs> yeah that Anubius has gone a bit crazy hasn't it really when Anub an Anubius fills up more than half of a 10 gallon tank you've got something a bit strange going on um, more shrimpies. Set one on the leaf, one down by the filter. And yeah, this. Uh, so these are the shrimp that lived the summer, or late spring, summer, early autumn, outside, unfiltered, no water changes, no feeding, no, just in the tub left outside, basically, in record breaking temperatures and drought. Um, I say no water changes, they did get topped up occasionally, 
when the water level's got a bit too low. And we can see one of the assassin snails that's in here and failing dismally. Um, and some of the Palliatus cories, pepper, salt and pepper or pepper cories. Um, they have been breeding. We do have at least one, probably two or three little corlets swimming around in here. And that's pretty much what's happened this year in the fish room. Outside of the fish room on YouTube. Uh, many a video, lots of strangeness occurring. And another good year. My you know, channel's grown. Made more new friends via the fish fam. Some very strange people. But I like strange. Strange is better than normal. You know who you are. Love you really. Um, now what we got? Oh, you... oh dear. You got a bump on you have you? Never mind. So yeah. All in all fishy wise. We've not had a huge amount of losses this year. Nothing really bad as... Oh, I say this year, I'm recording it in 2023. Um, nothing super bad has happened. Just the odd occasional loss, but nothing, as I say, too traumatic. No heaters dying and cooking a tank full of plecos or anything like that. So we just finish off with some shrimpy -de goodness. There we go. And what I'll do, as we're already up over, you know me, I can waffle for England. So, we'll find something pretty to look at. Let's find a fishy. Find a pretty fishy. There we go. Here's the other female, a pisto. So, yes. Uh, next video will be a plans for 2023. What I'm going to be doing going forwards. What I hope to accomplish. Uh, breeding wise, tank wise, setup wise. Oh, there's the thumbnail right there. Look at that. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Enjoy your fish keeping. Have fun. Have a great year. Let's hope it's better than 2022 in general, anyway. Peace out. Rock on. Bye bye. Ooh.